Unit 7, question number 5. So question number 5 wants us to identify sum and difference of a polynomial expression. All right? So you guys know that sum means you add and difference means you what? You subtract. All right? So again, we're going to be adding and subtracting polynomials. So let's dive into the first question. All right? Anytime you're adding polynomials together, we can immediately go ahead and remove the parentheses. So again, anytime you're adding polynomials together, we're going to first just go ahead and remove the what? The parentheses. So I'm going to remove the parentheses, and I would have x squared plus x minus 2, all right? I remove the parentheses, and I would have minus 2x squared minus 9x minus 7, okay? So again, guys, I remove the parentheses, and I rewrite everything else. So again, that is what we're going to do first. Technically, what you're saying is that in front of here is a positive 1, and you're distributing positive 1. Positive 1 times negative 2x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 9x multiplied by positive 1 is negative 9x. 1 multiplied by negative 7 is negative 7 because one positive 1 multiplied by anything makes it stay the same. Technically, it's the same thing here, all right? So these all stay the same, okay? Now we're going to combine like terms. So what the first like term I'm going to look for are terms that have an x squared. This is an x squared, and this is another x squared. Those are like terms, okay? So in front of this x squared is a 1. What is 1x squared minus 2x squared? 1 minus 2 is negative 1x squared, okay? Now I'm going to combine my x's. So this is an x, and this is an x, okay? So technically in front of here is a 1, 1x one minus 9x, 1 minus 9 is negative 8x, okay? Now we're going to combine our constants. So again, we're going to combine the negative 2 with the other constant, all right? That's the like term. Negative 2 minus 9 gives me a bigger negative, negative, or sorry, negative 2 minus 7 gives me a bigger negative, negative 9. And this is my result, all right? So let's try to do it for the next one. So again, guys, what I'm stating here is that technically in front of here is a negative 1. When there's a negative or when you're subtracting, you can't just remove the parentheses. We're going to go ahead and distribute that negative 1, all right? Negative 1 times negative 4x squared is positive 4x squared. Negative 1 times positive 6x is negative 6x. Negative 1 times positive 8 is negative 8, all right? And everything in front, you bring down. So again, everything that's in front of what I just distributed, the negative 10x squared and the positive 4x, you bring down, okay? Now we're going to combine like terms, okay? So this is an x squared. Do you see another x squared? Yup, the positive 4x squared. So negative 10x squared plus 4x squared, negative 10 plus 4 gives me negative 6x squared, okay? Now I'm going to combine my x's, okay? So 4x minus 6x, 4 minus 6 is negative 2x. Don't forget those variables, okay? And when I look, guys, this was my only constant. There was no like term that went with this. Because there's no like term that goes with this, I just bring it down. And this is my result. All right? So just like that.